I'll compare the low-cut Hyper Venom Phantom 3 with the OG Hyper Venom Phantom 1. This is the boot that started the Hyper Venom hype. And the big question is if the new Hyper Venom Phantom 3 is just as good. So today, I'll put these two in a head-to-head -head battle so you can decide for yourself which is the better football boot. The fit is what made the Hyper Venom 1 so brilliant, but thankfully for the Hyper Venom 3, it's actually not that far behind. See, on the Hyper Venom 1, you had this upper consisting of the honeycomb mesh with a Nike skin layer on top. And it was extremely thin and ridiculously soft. So it molded more or less immediately around your foot, which a lot of people, myself included, really, really liked. The bad thing, it lacked lockdown. Like, badly. That's how it goes. On the other side of the pond, we have the Hyper Venom Phantom 3, which for the first time ever on a low cut boot, by the way, features this one piece fly knit upper. And while it is a little bit thicker and takes a little longer to break in before it goes all fly knit buttery soft on you, once you break it in, it's actually just as free and comfortable on your foot as the Hyper Venom 1. On the plus side though, it actually gives you better lockdown because of these here free moving fly wire cables that are knitted and follows the way your foot moves. So that's a pretty good thing going for the three. To be honest with you though, the Hyper Venom Phantom 3 can't exactly keep up with the Hyper Venom Phantom 1 in terms of softness and this personal feeling fit. But on the other hand, the Nike Skin Upper is one of the best synthetic uppers I've ever tried in terms of fit. So coming as close as the Hyper Venom Phantom 3 and the Flyknit Upper does while still fixing the lockdown problem it's actually, it's actually cool with me because it's also the better solution in a match going situation where it really performs well in both areas. Fit wise, both boots are built on the same last, the same foot shape, if you will. So take the same size and you'll be good. So on and around the ball is probably the area where most people will feel the biggest difference and with good reason. Because on the Hyper Venom Phantom, you get this really close and very precise touch on the ball because the upper is so thin. But also, there's a, should we say, decent amount of grip because of this wax-like feeling you get from the Nike skin. It's not too bad, but it's not the best in the world either. On the Hyper Venom Phantom 3 though, we have this slightly more soft and padded touch on the ball because of the slightly thicker upper, but also because of the textured parts that have been knitted in to the flyknit structure. But it's still grippy and precise enough to make you feel everything you do and to make you feel in control. The other big difference is where you shoot because both really have a rather big striking surface which is slightly bigger on the Phantom 1 because of the asymmetrical lacing. But in the big picture, it doesn't really matter to be honest. What does matter though is these here rate dependent foam parts on the Hyper Venom Phantom 3. They're basically there to harden up where you shoot. So apart from giving you more oomph and a bit more of a padded feeling in your shot, it also takes away some of the sting you get when you shoot in a thinner boot, say the Hyper Venom 1. Now this close but also slightly stingy sensation you get in the Hyper Venom 1, some people love it, some people hate it. Me, myself, I think I prefer the Hyper Venom Phantom 3. But both are actually really, really good fun around the ball. And I'd take them both if I had to choose. Okay, okay, enough of the touch because we move on to the sole plates. And here the comparison really goes to show how far technology has come from 2013 till 2017. Now on the Hyper Venom Phantom 1, we have this one piece P-back plate with conical studs and this here toe split to make it more agile. But to be honest, it's you can't really, it's not. I really can't bend it even with my hands and a lot of force. And compared to the Hyper Venom Phantom 3 and the Hyper Reactive Plate that's different, the midfoot to give you better responsiveness and the super flexible forefoot to really allow your foot to bend however it wants to, you do feel more on your toes and responsive in the Hyper Venom Phantom 3 than in the Hyper Venom 1. So yes, the conical starts are very good for twisting and turning on the spot and maneuverability in general, but because you get both hexagonal studs and blades, you can both twist and turn, but also really feel sharper when you wanna do cuts and change direction. 
there's a big, big improvement from one to three when it comes to the soul place. Let's look at the facts for Hypervenum 1. It's 200 grams and has a white and extremely soft fit. A precise and clean striking surface with a claw sharp and grippy touch. It has a one piece sole plate with conical studs, but lacks a bit of lockdown and durability. It's 220 euros and is comfortable, free, and super precise. The Hypervenum 3 is 189 grams and gives you a wide, soft, and sock like fit with great lockdown. You get a padded, solid, and clean striking surface with a precise and textured touch with grip. The sole plate is responsive in all movements, but the boot needs a bit of breaking time. It's 240 euros and gives you an amazing fit, great responsiveness, and is sweet on the ball. In the end, the Hypervenom Phantom 1 will stay with me as this kind of magical football boot because of the insanely soft upper, the memories, and the way I absolutely lost my mind the first time I tried these. But sentimentality apart, when it comes down to the performance part of it, the Hypervenom 3 is just technically a better football boot. And since it comes close enough to the awesome fit of the Hypervenom 1, has a better sole plate and better lockdown and is more fun to shoot with, in my opinion, it would be pretty stupid not to pick this in a football match from a pure performance perspective at least. But guys, let me know which boot you would prefer out of the Hypervenom 1 and the Hypervenom 3 right down in the comment section below where you should also leave your comments. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the bejesus out of the like button if you had a good time. And now, ladies and gentlemen, da -da -da -da, it's time for the giveaway. I'm signing off. Here we go. To win the low cut Hypervenom 3, simply leave a comment that would convince even the most stubborn Hypervenom 1 user to switch to the Hypervenom 3. I'll pick the best one.